everybody i'm back again <laughs> two videos in one night i'm on a roll yep um i finally got all my products in i'm a little disappointed with one of my transactions and when i get you know through um what i ordered from cherry culture i'll get into the other story um the other day when i was you know just randomly walking through the dollar store i went in there for soap and i think i ended up looking at the makeup because it's just a habit i found this little la colors palette i've seen a, a couple of people with it it's called truffles i thought it was cute this is the only one that they had that i liked and that i didn't have already so i went ahead and got it and from cherry culture i got the creamy glitter palettes by nyx i have ice queen i hope y'all can see that i have ice queen i have not opened this one yet but i really like the colors on it and i have utopia And I haven't used that one either. I also have Bronze Goddess. I think that one is very, very nice too. And the tape is still on half of those. I, I haven't even opened them, swatched them or nothing. The only one that I opened was Eden. And that's because I attempted to do a look that Mommy G did. And I'll post pictures at the end if I have enough time. Um, Surreal and Paradise and they're all creamy glitter shadows um, you have to use that um, the sponge chip applicator because it really doesn't work well with the brush I tried and I got three blushes by NYX I have taupe the sticker's still on that one. I'm not even going to try to get it. And Nutmeg. It's kind of a, a earth tone. It's really, really nice on me, I think. And then there's Pecan. 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 I say Pecan. I'm from Texas. Um, then I got two sh three shadows. I got Golden. And as you can see, the sticker's still on the side. I haven't even had a chance to open any of these. Um, Africa. And there's another one. I don't know where it is. <laughs> but it's similar to Hot Orange. I was like, oh God, I already bought Hot Orange while I was in the store. But you never can have too much of one thing. And then I have the... Uh, the Loose Pigments by NYX. I got three of those. This one is Orange Zest Pearl. I'm sorry for the bad lighting, y'all. Let me see if this will help. Oh, no. That made me look too dark. <laughs> That's the orange. And then I got Baby Pink Pearl. I'm so not doing a good job. But thanks for watching. <laughs> and then I have turquoise. Y'all know I got a thing about blue eyeshadows. And I got um, some of these glitter liners. I really haven't tried the non tassel ones. But they were two bucks originally, and I got them for like a dollar. So that's why I bought them. And I got a handful of those. Quite a few colors. Variety. And I'll let y'all know how they, you know, turn out. And I did also get three of them with the tassels. Because these are the only colors that appeal to me. And also the only colors that they had in stock. So I, you know, bought those three. I've worn the silver one. It um 
it can get really thick and clumpy too but um overall i liked it and let me get to my <laughs> second part of my haul i got the information from salima 77's page hey girl thank you for being so informative and letting us know you know where to get this and that i really really appreciate that because i'm just now starting out and i really don't know much about makeup and i don't have a lot of money either but anyway thank you you know for you know being informative anyway um i went on i offer and got the little fake matte pigment I got a set of 26 and it was supposed to come with a 24 piece brush set and the top the the cost that they had up was like $37 I believe and that $37 didn't include the shipping so I asked the person okay how much for the 26 pigments plus the brushes I'm sorry I didn't mean plus the brushes and shipping that was like for you my friend $55 so I'm like okay cool I get the 26 pigments plus the 24 brushes with shipping for 55 and he was like yes for you my friend 55 I was like okay cool so I went ahead and paid you know I'm, I'm a if once I, you know, come up on it, I, you know, I go ahead and pay. I mean, I don't have, if I'm a bid on it, I'm going to pay for it immediately. That's just me. So, made the bid, waited, got it. You know, he got his little payment, you know, right out, up out of my account. No delay, no nothing. He got it. So, about a week later, I get my pigments. And there's 26, but I get no brushes. I'm like, dude, I asked you. I asked you before I even placed the bid. I asked dude what the brushes included. And he was like, yeah, you know, that's why I went ahead and made the, the bid. That was why I was willing to pay, you know, as much as I paid because the brushes were coming with it. Plus, you know, the pigments. So I'm like, okay, okay. Is there any way that you can send me the brushes? Yeah. Well, no, I said, you know, no, no. He said, yeah, but you'd have to pay another $25 shipping. I'm like, I done already paid you $55. What make you think I'm about to give you another 25 No bueno, for real. So, um, I, you know, dispute the claim or whatever. He's, he's saying, well, I'll give you a $5 refund. $5 from the 55 Come on now. What kind of what 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 kind of is that? You know, that's that's just not fair in my opinion. Then your ad clearly states twenty six pigments plus twenty four brushes. That's false advertising in my eyes. Another CVS. Another CVS. So he was like, okay, cool. You don't want the five dollars? How about ten? ten dollars what i want for you to do is mail me my brushes that's what i want so i contact i offer i offer sucks when it comes to customer service in my opinion um they they really were not helpful in my opinion but they did you know tell me well look go ahead and contact paypal dispute the charges so right now that's why i am with that when I find out what's going to happen, I will be sure to let you guys know. Um, you know, I'm too trusting with some things, but I don't think that I'll ever buy anything else from my offer. That's just me. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not a good site, but dude has spoiled it for everybody else on there. Because when I see something that I want and it looks good quality and I've heard that it's good quality, you know, I'm used to, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go, you know, ahead and get it. But this situation right here, got to be just looking like real, real silly at them. They about to be in that little box with CVS, and I'm just going to kick it. You know what I mean? But anyway, thank you guys for watching my little haul, my little bootleg haul video, because I ain't got no swatches, no nothing. 
but you get, I mean, a lot of you already have these products, you already know what they're about, so I just wanted to make a video.